in the dark and in the rain. A honk helps call out parents to pick up a special delivery. No, I didn't expect all of this. It's, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Parents receive a sack lunch for their child. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not what we normally do, but I think uh, the district has handled it real well. And uh, we're out here doing what we do. Nora Mercado was one of the first 24 parents that received meals for her two children at a pickup site on Monday. But the district soon realized there was a much greater need. We weren't expecting to stop at some homes, but people were at the road waiting for food, so we served them. Today, food was delivered to more than 800 students, and that number could increase while COVID-19 safety measures remain in place. We have bus drivers um, on each bus. We have a food handler certified person handing the food to families. Oh, it's awesome. The kids are so excited. They've been waiting for the bus, and they, they ran outside even in the rain. <laughs> a meal that was prepared five miles away at Stockdale Elementary by the child nutrition staff made up of seven people. Uh, we have 830 students that we serve, uh, but essentially we've recruited um, dozens of people that are going to come in and help load buses, help throw trash. Coaches, principals, even my wife got a food handler cert certificate last night. Thank you so much. Their focus is for children 18 years or younger to be fed no matter if they're students at Stockdale ISD or not. Starting next week, food drop-offs could be reduced to once a day with breakfast and lunch being dropped off at the same time. And the school board is also thinking about adding a fifth bus route to meet the needs. Reporting from Stockdale, Alicia Barrera, KSAT 12 News.